Hi, alto saxophones. Welcome back. Today, we're doing accent book two, page number 10, and we're talking about 16th notes. 16th notes receive one fourth of a beat in two, four, three, four, and four, four time. We often see 16th notes in groups of four, and we count four 16th notes, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, like that. Oftentimes, I like to find a word to represent four 16th notes. I try to find a word that has the same syllables as the four 16th notes. Today, I'm gonna to use the word Mississippi because it's a state that has four syllables in its name. Mississippi, Mississippi, Mississippi. So give that a try with me. We'll use the counting, one E and a, and the word Mississippi. Our first example is four to the beat, using our four 16th notes to one beat. This is in 3-4 time, and it's got a B flat in the key signature, meaning that all Bs will be played two inside B flat. Our first measure gets counted like this. One E and a two and three. One and two E and a three. One and two and three. One E and a two and three. So I counted the whole first line of that, of that exercise. So join me, and now let's play it. One E and a two and three. Ready, set, go. Let's try it again. One E and a two and three. One E and a ready and go. Exercise 30 uses 16th notes as well. This piece is by John Philip Sousa, and it's called The Thunderer. Notice in the key signature, however, we've got F sharps and C sharps. So do you remember your fingering for C sharp? No hands? Got it. And how about F sharp? Second finger. Here we go. One, two, and ready, begin. <laughs> Try that one again. Pause, practice, rewind, and repeat, and see if you can play those 16th notes very crisp and clear. Number 31 is the Harvest Song, and it's an Estonian folk song in 2-4 time using our 16th notes. One and two, and ready, set, go. <laughs> Number 32 is an American folk song called Simple Gifts. This piece uses a DS al fine. So play from the beginning all the way down to the end of line three. At the end of line three, go back to the sign in line two and play all of line two to the word fine. Ready? No sharps, no flats, and one, Two, three, four, one, ready, go. Thank you. 
Did you follow the DS Alfine? Great if you did. If you didn't, that's okay. Rewind the video and try it a second time. You'll be glad you did because you made progress. Our final exercise is number 33, alto saxophone, or accent on alto saxophone. And on this exercise, we're really focusing in on playing our B flat two inside. This exercise is in cut time. So remember, the values of the notes in cut time are half the value that we normally know them as. Whole notes get two beats, half notes get one beat, and quarter notes get half of a beat. Here we go. One and two and one and two. One, two, ready, begin. <laughs> And there you have it, Accent Book 2, page 10. We learned 16th notes today, and I hope that you had a good time and enjoyed learning. Now, go back and review this video again, repeat it if you need to, to make some more progress. Until I see you in our next video, keep practicing.